time out in the UFC, DC. This man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jabs, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish an opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup time. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, six losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Michael Maverick Kiesa. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. That kick blocked by Michael Chiesa. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, huge right hand! Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. shot there. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe just... Oh, he might have got him with a 
Mitchell. Oh, nice. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Okay, now two, you ready? You ready? All Show right, second fight. round underway. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punch in the clinch. Yes, it gets in the clinch yet again. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice job at least staying upright on that. It's a good right hand right there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find oh, himself in the big take, take it down. Cut him. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh! Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he's got a choke. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. And this might just be a matter of time. Great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Michael Maverick Chiesa! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.